Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of NAB 2017 right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're in Central Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center in the Vitech Video Group booth on the Teradex set. This is Teradex live continuing coverage. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us. We have some very special and great guests here. I am so excited. The Cartoni Company was started in 1936, and they've been part of the film and broadcast industry ever since. One of the most illustrious and well-sought-after companies in the world. Everybody knows Cartoni. They know the brand. They know the products. It's really got such a stellar reputation. If you've done anything in filmmaking or broadcast, you know Cartoni. Elisabetta Cartoni is here with Steve from Cartoni. Thank you so Hi. much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. It's an honor. It's an honor to have you here. Your grandfather started the company in 1936. Yes. It's a, you're a third generation owner. Yes, absolutely. It's something that's very hard to do these days. It is, it is. It is hard to keep on inventing new stuff. It's hard to keep a company running, especially in a country like Italy where we have had our ups and downs and uh, it's not the best possible condition for having a labor and, uh, and a factory. Yeah. And you deal with all sorts of importation and exportation issues, all sorts of sourcing parts, I'm sure. Um, but it's, you know, you've been able to keep it going, and, and it's, I think that's something that's really, really not easy to do, but is remarkable. And it's remarkable that you've been able to keep the reputation going because, you know, a lot of people try and skimp on, you know, product or change the way things have been done. And that's when things start to fall apart, but you've been able to keep it going. You see, uh, our focus has always been uh, to uh, stay on, on, on our technologies, on our know-how, and uh, basically we make everything in-house. Even stuff that we could um, buy from other countries and or, or other uh, factories. Uh, we still make them in Rome in our factory. When you were young, do you remember going to the factory and seeing your grandfather work and um, and, and then, you know, obviously your parents were? Yeah. Unfortunately, my, uh, my grandfather died very young, but my father, um, who was um, handling the business at that time, I remember when I was a young girl, um, I might have been six or seven, and I had uh, gyro heads under my bed. This is the way. Papa was using to stuck them under our bed. Wow. Now, did you, I mean, did you know you wanted to go into the business or did you, I mean, because that's always also a hard thing for, you know, business owners to figure out if, if, if it should, you know, if the child wants to do it and then if mm. they should and if they're good enough or smart enough or if they have really, because you have to be passionate, especially to keep the business going. You can't just say, well, I'll do this because it's the family business. It hasn't been easy at all. <laughs> I have a degree in philosophy, so I would have loved to be a teacher and uh, to do so, and a writer. But um, well, my father needed me, and I started uh, helping him uh, in the spare hours I had from the study. And then uh, at the end, uh, I was compelled to fall in it. Well, it's a good thing, and I think that uh, it, you know the entire filmmaking world is thankful that your father needed you because we all need you. Um, Steve, uh, you, you wanted to uh, show off the Dutch head uh, that you guys have and it, I mean, it's remarkable. First of all, I just want the viewers to understand that as you were getting this ready on set, you were so confident in it. That's an Ari Alexa on there. The whole thing weighs a ton, but you just swung that thing around like nobody's business and I, my heart skipped like four beats, not just one, it skipped like four beats, wondering if that lens, that camera, and the entire setup were just gonna go flying because, you know, you don't know, and you were just right on it. Well, after being with Cartoni for 25 years, I'm confident with everything we do. Uh, the Dutch quickly started, um, the Dutch look has been around forever. Back in the old days, it was actually two O'Connor 100s stacked on each other. That was the old days of Batman when they would um, give that funky angle sure. when they were doing their fighting. In the early 90s, when Cartoni first came to the States, Denny Claremont uh, came to us. We were doing our demos and said, you know, we need something called a Dutch head. And Mr. Cartoni was there, and they talked for a few minutes. Three weeks after he, returned, after he got back to Italy, he sent us the first Dutch head. First thing was the Claremonts were amazed that a Dutch head came out within three weeks. 
And then um, once they put it to use, uh, the rest is history. Every major yeah. rental house had a Cartoni Dutch head. Uh, most user had it. Almost every cameraman has used a Dutch head from Cartoni, one of our Dutch heads. Well, as the years gone by, we tried to figure out what can what can happen next. Elizabeth has been really pondering what to do. And when we introduced our Lambda 25, which most cameramen know our big Lambda head, that we were asked for a third axis. And that's when the idea hit her when she created the third axis for the total Dutch head. If I may now? Yes, please. And I want to say, you know, I've got we've got a friend in common, a good friend of mine who is an amazing camera operator, uh, was the camera operator on Dexter and True Blood and does a lot of Grey's Anatomy work and works with me a lot. Um, Eric Fletcher swears by Cartoni. If it's not Cartoni, he does not want to use it. And obviously there's good reason for that. Yeah, Eric has been a big supporter of ours. The SOC actually honored our Lambda line of heads last year's for um, a Lifetime Achievement Award, I think it was. Yes. And so what we have here is a Dutch head that you can actually put on a nodal point, the optical center, and rotate it 360. And there's no other head out there on the market that will allow you to do that on a standard pan and tilt head. So here we have the O'Connor 2575. Unlock it. And now we could do, oops, as I locked it. I locked it. Aha. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me there. See if, if it was a if it was a cartoni head, I'd I give you a hard time. <laughs> but, you if know, you were if you were struggling with a cartoni head, I'd give you a hard time. Okay. But the O'Connor, it's not your it's not your head, so it's so okay. So now we can have just a real oddball shot, following people around, give sure. a little bit of a of a cycle look, and and perfect balance all the way through. So I mean, obviously, we know that that has a certain amount of use in horror films. It has a certain amount of use in uh, space films, right? Especially with the 360, it can give you the feel of the mm -hmm. astronauts, you know, tumbling all around. Um, it certainly can do, you know, there are certain jobs it will do very well. But what are the things that people don't think of using this for that it might work perfect for? What kind of shots would, would you think about that other people haven't? There, there are documentaries, there are uh, architectural um, reports, uh, the fashion shows where the it will be very interesting to use that type of head. Um, uh, some advertising with table tabletop work from above. Um, there is plenty of use of the Dutch head, and especially when uh, it is so easy just to put it on an existing head. Right. Uh, it, it is something that we hope that every crew would want to have in the box and just be ready to use it. Well, and I mean, it only took you about three minutes to set this whole yeah, thing up. Absolutely. And again, this is an O'Connor pair of sticks and, and head and, and you haven't, you know, you haven't used that before. So, uh, or, or maybe you have, but you're not that familiar with it. So I think that that's very interesting that it, it really is ready to go on any, as long as it can bear the weight, it's ready to go on any head and any pair of sticks. Um, I thought the most interesting thing was that Steve said that you felt that the company needed this and you designed it. Does that happen a lot? It does because um, I helped a lot my father in, uh, in his uh, former designs and uh, I was the one uh, translating uh, the patent uh, language in English when we applied for the patents in English. So I'm quite familiar with what the problems are and also being in this world for so many uh, years uh, I got great friends among the great director of photography and operators and uh, they come to me and talk to me about the needs, about the imagining shots that uh, maybe are not possible yet and so this uh, attracts me a lot to think about what tool can I get them to be more creative. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And one of the things about Cartoni being a small family business is exactly what Elizabeth has said, is that over the, Eric Fletcher for example, over the years camera operators come and say, hey, can you do this, can we do that? And um, Brazil, the movie Brazil, you guys made the first, what we call multi-mode, where they put three different parts of the head together to go on the ground and make all kinds of, it's kind of like a predecessor to a Lambda. Yeah. And it was only used a few times there, but 
they're, they're always constantly innovating and listening to what the cameraman needs. Well, and you're you're constantly in touch with the operators, which I think is good. Do you visit sets a lot, both of you guys? Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. I think that that's important. In Rome, I do a lot in Cinecittà, where I have uh, excellent friends from the AIC, uh, the Italian Guild of Cinematographer, and they have been a great source of inspiration. I'm glad the SOC, SOC.org, uh, recognized your work and of course, that you guys are involved with them. It's, it's really, truly remarkable. The Society of Camera Operators is a great organization. I'm glad that you guys do such remarkable work, and I, I can't thank you enough for all of you know the viewers out there and all the people at NAB who use your products and really uh, love them. Thank you, and thank you for sharing your story and spending some time with us. Well, thanks to you a lot, and uh, I promise we will keep on going with the same philosophy. I love it. That's wonderful. Do you have kids that are going to be involved in the business in the future? I hope so. I have a daughter, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Talk her into it. Tell her you need her help. That was yeah, your dad's exactly. trick. It seemed to work well. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Steve, right? I mean... Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I'd love to see the family name continue. Absolutely. I and mean, they've kind of adopted me already. <laughs> there you go. Oh uh, Well, you guys are terrific, and, and in all honesty, you make great products, and we need the products, and, and we love the whole line of products. Check out Cartoni. They make phenomenal products, and I'm glad we got to see the total Dutch here. This is your live continuing coverage of NAB 2017 here at the Las Vegas Convention Center in the Terdex set. We'll be back with a whole lot more. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.